So welcome back everyone, Triple in here today, talking about the new streaming service from AT&T. Now, we know about AT&T TV now. Well, a couple days ago, AT&T launched AT&T TV, which in all honesty, they own both services. They're moving away from AT&T TV now and they're kind of focusing their attention from AT&T TV. So this video, I'm gonna go through it. I'm not gonna purchase the service cause I have my own feelings. You guys will kind of pick up on that as I go along, but I'm gonna talk about what's available, what devices, how much it costs, what packages are available. Let's go ahead and jump into it. All right, so if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, please smash that notification bell. Remember, best way to support this channel is to simply smash the thumbs up and share this video. And also guys, please check the description. I always have VPN deals, also have uh, related playlists and videos, and also my contact information is in the description. Email me if you have any questions. So over to AT&T TV, and I've tried out all the streaming services, guys, from DirecTV now, AT&T TV now was changed uh, later, Hulu Plus Live TV, also Fubo is another great service, Sling TV, YouTube TV. I'm familiar with what's out there and also what uh, you should get for a certain dollar amount. So AT&T TV shows the bundle right here, $49 a month for 12 months, taxes and RSN fees. The whole point, in my opinion, to get a streaming service like a YouTube TV or AT&T TV now or a Fubo TV is to kind of cut the cable cord and get away from some of those high prices and taxes that are associated with the cable. So I'm not gonna say this one doesn't deserve my full attention as far as getting the actual service and downloading it and showing it off, but let's go through some of the, the, the features of it. So we're gonna get into the offers in a little bit, but all your entertainment in one place, your live TV on your favorite apps, do get a voice remote, 500 hours of cloud DVR. So no more recording conflicts. They do have a streaming app where you can go ahead and you can watch it on your phone or other cases. Ease yourself set up. Get $250 in AT&T Visa Rewards cards when you buy AT&T TV plus internet online and save $20 a month for 12 months when bundled. So even just reading that part right there, there's some shady stuff going on. In the fine print right here, it says savings based on $10 a month credit and internet for $10 a month, bill credit for 12 months, on TV when bundled, AT&T Visa reward cards issued by, by the Bancorp crew, pursuant to license, blah, 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 with a 24 month TV agreement. Right there, that means that you're in a contract, guys. So if you're in a contract and you try to break the contract, you're gonna be um, penalized one way or another. So keep that in mind. Here are the different packages. So they do have the entertainment package. That's $49 a month for 12 months plus taxes. There are equipment fees. There are taxes. So this 49, it's probably gonna be more like a 50, 54 or something like that when it's all said and done. Includes these channels and more. So um, ESPN, TNT, Nickelodeon, uh, HGTV. And we're gonna look at the channels in a little bit. And before we go over the choice, also says with 24 month agreement, prices higher in the second year. So let's click on that, kind of see what the details are. And here we are guys. So it's so a one year bundle price ends, look like June, 2020. For the second year, it's gonna go up to $79 a month guys for the entertainment package. And look like they have some other pricing if you get the bundles, but please take your time and look into this. I'm not even gonna waste my energy just cause I know this is a service that I would not recommend uh, off the bat. I will not um, encourage you guys to get it. There are a lot of better options out there. So they also have the choice package 54. We know the fine print there is gonna be more expensive year two, year three. And same thing for the entertainment package. Let's click on the drop down, see more details. So live TV on demand, 500 hours of cloud DVR, access to 5,000 plus app like Netflix and Pandora, at and TV device and remote with the Google Assistant. So they do provide a device for you and we'll look at that in a little bit. If you want a second room, you can get multiple devices, but if you have a compatible device that can download the app, you can watch it there too. So there's the device itself, easy setup. No satellite dish, no cable box. Well, this kind of looks like a cable box to me. And what it is basically is just an Android device that they put their stamp on and they're selling it. You will be paying a $10 uh, fee for this uh, when it's all said and done. So $10 a month to rent it or lease it, whatever um, clever way they want to market that. All right, so in one small device, pause and play, record as many shows, use the voice. There's a look at the remote. There's the apps that you can get. So just reaching out to a rep on the AT&T TV website, they weren't much help 
just simply trying to find out what streaming devices uh, this will be uh, compatible with and she recommended Hulu is a streaming device and the Fire Stick so she had no idea what she was talking about so I was able to um, dig this up you can see it is available on that AT&T uh, TV device that's the one we looked at a little bit earlier also for Amazon Fire Stick Fire TV Fire TV Q for Android phones and tablets running Android 5 or higher um, Apple and iOS, Apple TV, 4th generation, Safari web browser, iPads, iPhones, as well as the iPad Touch. On Google, Chrome browser, um, built-in TV, on select models, Chromecast. And for Roku, they have different models right there. Please uh, feel free to pause the video. Samsung TV, 2017 and 2018 TVs. So that's the compatible devices. So if you have one of those, you don't necessarily need to purchase the box or lease the box but the box is available and it's going to cost an additional ten dollars a month that was basically just an overview of the service let's click on the channel lineup you have the entertainment package there choice extra and the ultimates so next to each package you can kind of see if you're getting that channel or not so the green it says promo offer available so you can get a promotion on it uh, more than likely it's a one month or something like that and it will go up if it's a black dot next to it that's included in the basic package and there's a dollar sign that's an add-on so you will be paying additional money per month for this channel i'll scroll down a little bit and i'll just let it go slowly but just look at some of the channels guys nothing too exciting here you do get bt on all packages it looks like cartoon network cmt's included you get some news channels um, cnn cnn hd comedy central but with comedy central you can get that on pluto tv so not really impressed and scroll down espn uh, deportes that's an add-on it looks like so we have espn and espn2 which are included espn news and ESPN U are not even available on the entertainment package. You actually have to move over to the choice to be able to get that, right? Do we have Fox Sports 1? Fox Sports 2 is not available on the entertainment. On the choice, you have to move over to the extra or the ultimate. So I just keep scrolling, guys, if you want to pause it. Um, most of these are going to be add ons. TBS is included there. So, with all that said and done, would I recommend? The service and the answer is a definite no uh, the big thing that sticks out for me in this is that it's a contract guys you're gonna be tied in for two years and if you try to get out of it you are gonna be penalized it's gonna cost you and it keeps you chained down to that service you can't move around so no I wouldn't recommend this if you guys have the service let me know what you think about it if you guys are thinking about getting the service drop your comments in the comment section below as always guys don't forget to hit the thumbs up on this video share this video thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one